Hi guys, welcome to my new After Effects video. In this video, I am gonna show to make this animation with Duke Basil 2 and After Effects. Let's get started. So, vectors from freepick.com, I will add download link and project files in the description below. First step, let's select this layer chair and let's see. Okay, let's lock layer then select this lamp and laptop let's lock layer also and select object let's see okay also let's lock layer then let's select this cup and lock layer let's select this layer glass eyes and eyebrow and here then right mouse precoms and add name here click ok back to character composition and let's select this laptop let's click this icon and lamp let's click this icon and object let's select this icon and chair this and cup then for hide this select layers click this icon for hide all layers okay so select this table also let's and lock and hide okay and now let's select this hit composition go to solo and let's select this pump behind Let's move to here. Okay, click selection tool and let's press air. Let's see. Okay, nice. So, let's select this here and let's link to body. Select this layer one. Let's see. Okay, let's go to soul also and select pump behind icon. Move to anchor point here. Click selection tool and unsolo. And select this layer hand. Go to solo. Okay, let's make puppet pins let's go to select this icon puppet pin tool and let's add one puppet here and one here and here click station tool and change puppet engine legacy click ok and in this time select this puppet go to window open do you basil 2 ok then let's click this icon for go to rigging and when we select this puppet click add bones Okay, we have three bones. Let's select this puppet pin three. Let's link to puppet pin two. Select puppet pin two. Link to puppet pin one. And select this puppet pin one. Let's link to body. And select this three puppet pins. Let's go to Duke and click auto rig IK. Okay, all rig is done. And let's see. Okay, very nice. So in this time, let's unsolo all layers and let's see. Okay, very nice. And select this body. Let's go to solo. Select this palm behind the icon. Move the anchor point down. Click selection tool and unsolo. Let's press air. Okay, very nice. Select this layer one. Let's link to body. Let's see. Okay, and select this layer one. And go to solo. Let's add again puppet pin tools. Let's one here and here and here. Click selection tool, change puppet engine legacy. And when we select this puppet engine, go to click add bones. And again, make someone select three link to puppet pin two and select puppet pin link to puppet pin one. And let's select this. Puppet pin 1, let's link to body. Let's unsolo these layers and select body, press air, let's see. Okay, and select these three puppets. Go to click auto rig I key. Okay, let's say controller, let's see. Okay, very nice. So, in this time, select these puppets and these puppets. Let's lock layers. And let's hide like this. And let's hide this. Okay, nice. Let's select this and change name object and this hand. And select hand layer. Let's lock and hide. Okay, very nice. So in this time, let's select this body 
and let's make a little animation for example first thing, let's close do bezel 2 and in this time go to here press air make rotation keyframe and let's change rotation minus 3 and go to 10 keyframe for shortcut you can use hold shift press page down in the keyboard let's change rotation like this and say keyframes make easy let's see okay and in this time select is here press air and let's go to here make new rotation keyframe and go to fifth keyframes chain rotation like this let's say it is here let's move to here okay say keyframes make easy okay then select this hand controller and let's press p go to here let's make new passing keyframe and move to here okay and go to some keyframes let's move to right and go to here make new passing keyframe and go to fifth keyframes let's move to up and go to here let's move to down for laptop click animation and go to fifth keyframes let's move to up again go to here move to down and go to fifth keyframes let's make new passing keyframe and go to here let's move to back and say keyframes make easy is let's animation okay nice so let's say keyframes go to graph editor and make smooth animation let's see okay let's select keyframes let's make like this and select work area let's see okay and let's select this move to left okay and select this let's move to left okay back to chip frames and let's select this last four chip frames let's move to left and select this move to left okay and select this shape frame let's move right okay back to shape frames and in this time let's make new body shape frame and go to here chain rotation minus three and go to here make new hit shape frame and go to five shape frames chain rotation like this let's see let's move to right and say k frames move to right okay so hit k frames let's move to here and for realistic animation let's go to here select body hold shift press p let's make bones effect let's make new passing chip frame and go to center let's move to down okay and go to here Select first shape frame, control C, control V. Select shape frames, make easy. Let's see. Okay, there is problem and it's not problem. I will fix. Select these three passing shape frames, control C and go to here, control V. Let's see. Okay, so select this object controller. Let's press P. And in this time, let's make new passing shape frame and go to here. Let's move to down like this okay and go to last shape frame move to left let's see okay let's move to down like this okay nice select shape frames make easy and in this time make new passing shape frame again go to here let's move to down and go to last shape frame move to left and go to five shape frames move to right again go to five shape frames move to left let's see okay nice 
Let's go to here. Select last shape frame. Move to left. And go to 5th shape frames. Let's move to right. Let's see. Okay, nice. So, select this here. Let's go to here and hold shift press P. Make new passing shape frame. Go to center. And let's move to down. Go to last shape frame. Select first shape frame. Control C, Control V. And make shape frames easy. Select the three shape frame. Control C and go to last rotation shape frames. Control V. And let's select this last rotation shape frame. Move to right. Let's see. Okay, nice. So in this time, let's click this icon and let's select this cup. Okay, and let's move to behind hand layer. Okay, let's move to up. Okay, nice. Also, we can move to here this cup. Nice. So let's open heat composition and select these eyes. Let's press S, click this icon, and let's back to character composition for C timing. And in this time, let's make scale shape frame, go to two shape frame and or three shape frame, change scale like this. Go to three shape frame again, one, two, three. Select first shape frame, control C, control V. Select shape frames, make easy. And select shape frames, control C, go to here, control V, and here, control V. Let's see. Okay, nice. And let's go to pen tool and make mods. Click selection tool, go to fill, select none, and go to stroke width, change stroke width. And color, let's select airdropper like this. Let's change to black. And for smooth layer, go to here, contents and shape one, and stroke. Let's change butt cup to round cup for this. Okay, nice. So friends, we can make foot animation like a hand animation like this. Also, let's select foot 3, go to solo and we can add puppet pins here and make controllers with Duik Base 2 and we can make someone for these foots. It's very easy. So thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.